<laughs> That's the drums, bro. If I was a girl. If I had milkers, I'd be doing that. The girls would be smashing watermelons with their tits. And what? Have you seen that? What are you talking about? I don't know, dude. What's Go down a rabbit hole. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm dude. about to get down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Cut the video. I am bricked. Yeah, I'm bricked up. Cut. I ain't recording this. I need to get out of here. What is new, baby? Hey, you guys loved NFL trivia. Yeah. It was actually a good time. Our host is back with his Same beautiful host attire. Yep. Looking snazzier than ever. I'm surprised you still fit in the suit, host. Barely. Host this is from like the high school days, but somehow she still slips down my back. Nice. Listen, you guys, you guys used to, um, you guys already know to keep your woman out of the room when an MMG video is on because I'm going to clap. And now you really got to worry. Yeah. Because Baker these, Mayfield's been up. Look at these hot. fucking pit vipers, dude. You're, it's all over now. You're in my swamp now, donkey. This, at this, somebody clicked on this video who doesn't know us. Oh they're just my looking God. for some obscure NFL trivia. Yep. And they're like, and who they're are like, these two right, idiots? I'm off. <laughs> yeah. Or they're dialed in. Yeah. They, I mean, if they're watching, they're dialed in. So. This is fact. All right, boys. Yeah, you guys liked the last one. We're excited to do it again. My goal here is to get over 50%. If I don't get over 50%, you guys get to choose my outfit for the next NFL trivia. That's we decided on. I like it. Ooh, yeah. I think it's gonna be a good one. You want me to get a lobster suit? You want me to get a, a glizzy suit? Yep. Ooh, you want me to? Li I literally don't care what it was. I will print out a shirt that says "Bella broke my heart" and I'll wear it. <laughs> so here's the rules for today's obscure NFL trivia. Chase has concocted 15 random, obscure, little-known NFL facts mm -hmm. that I'm gonna have to answer here. And I might be setting the bar a little bit too high, but it is a multiple choice. You know, sometimes and true or false. So I need to get 10 out of the 15 correct here for me to not have to do the challenge yes so if i get less than 10 go in the comments tell me what you want me to wear on the yep. next one top comment is gonna get it but that's only you gotta watch the video still because don't go commenting it if i get 10 mm -hmm. so i'm gonna reply to you i'm gonna say you're a dumb idiot true are you ready i am ready the are NFL's you ready obscure trip i don't think so i don't think i'm ready for looking this. at these questions you're not ready you know they say though on the sat the only way to score a zero is if you know the correct answer because even the dumbest idiot alive is gonna on average get about a 33 percent because okay. if you answer c on every question and you have roughly a 33% chance. Of, well, no. Yep, you're already fumbling. I just need a little bit of luck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Also, a huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I work with SeatGeek all the time. They're the best place in the world to get tickets for anything. NFL, MLB, NBA, festival, concert, whatever. If you're getting tickets, you need the SeatGeek app on your phone. There's a link in the top of the description. My code MMG will get you $20 off your first purchase. Absolutely have SeatGeek on your phone the next time you purchase tickets. SeatGeek, thanks for sponsoring guys enjoy the rest of the video question number one with obscure trivia who was brett Favre's first completion to a greg jennings put a team on my back though b sterling shepherd c ron lewis or d himself i'm tempted to say greg jennings because of that iconic madden clip have you seen the iconic madden clip oh i gotta do this shit I put a team on my fucking back, though. My leg broke. I don't know how the fuck I'm running right now, though. Darren Sharper, one of the most hardest hitting safeties in the league. But I put the team on my back, though. Darren Sharper. Yeah. Yep. One of the hardest hitting <laughs> yeah. safeties in the league. Yeah. Team on my back, though. That's Greg Jennings. Why is himself in there? This is a total, like, is the SAT trying to bend me over and fuck me? But I'm going to go D himself. I think the only scenario you do that is if you throw it off your own lineman's back and then you catch it to yourself, right? I can see a rookie doing that, especially Brett Favre. I'm going D himself. That is correct. One for one, you baby. You are so correct about Heater. that. All right, baby. Question number two. What team has the highest total cap space to spend oh shoot is it a the patriots b the cowboys c the eagles or d the saints i'm gonna rule out patriots and cowboys right off the bat patriots they just signed so many free agents there's no way the only reason their team was good this year is they signed so many people judon included cowboys there's no way jerry jones was fiscally responsible just didn't happen that leaves the eagles and the saints you know why i'm gonna say eagles because the saints just signed Taysom hill Taysom hill doesn't even play a legitimate position they gave him so much money i have to guess it's the eagles that is incorrect oh was it the saints it is the saints shit <laughs> yep who's getting paid on the eagles bro their whole team is young jalen hurts kenneth gainwell miles sanders i have no idea who's getting paid on the eagles one I'll for two L. i'll take my one for two number three question number three what was the new york jets first name Oh, I know this. Was it A, New York Islanders, B, New York Saints, C, New York Titans, D, New York 
South C, New York Titans. That is correct. I knew the answer, but I couldn't think of it. Thank God it was multiple choice. That is correct. Because I, it was in my brain somewhere. I just had to hear it. That was like a long time ago. <laughs> We're talking like 60, 70 years ago. That was their Holy first team crap. name. Question number four. What player was associated with the catch in 1981? Is it A, Jerry Rice, B, Dwight Clark, C, Steve Largent, D, Kellen Winslow? B, Dwight Clark. That is correct. It was from, I don't even actually know if it was from Montana or Steve Young, but it was 100% Dwight Clark. It was, he rolled out right and it was like a broken play. Yeah, I know that. Question number five, true or false? Joe Montana played his entire career with the 49ers. False, he played the most random year with the Chiefs. That is correct. I know that because of Madden. People always make theme teams in Madden. It's literally like Slumdog Millionaire. People always make uh, theme teams in Madden. Mm -hmm. And it's such bullshit when I see him on a Chiefs theme team. I'm like, no, you run him on a Niners theme team or you don't run him. Yeah. But then you realize he actually gets the Chiefs like team chemistry and it makes him really good. Oh, so okay. It's like, oh, that's so bogus. For one year being For on the team. For one year, yeah. yes. Same okay. with Adrian Peterson now though. Literally seven different teams can run an Adrian Peterson that theme team. That is true. He's on a lot of, so is like Ryan nine Fitzpatrick, of them can be I Ryan Fitzpatrick, yeah. Nobody wants Fitzpatrick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another true or false question number six. Dan Marino never won a Super Bowl. True, true. or false? True. He's the greatest player to never win a Super Bowl. That true. is correct. Five out of six. That ain't bad. Question number seven. Who caught more TD passes this season? Amari Coop or Rob Gronk? That's actually very difficult. Cooper had a lot of touchdowns, not a lot of yards. I feel like Gronk had a touchdown like every game. I'm going to say Gronkowski. It is Amari Cooper. Oh, I got all these legend questions, and I'm going to get boofed on this one. Amari Cooper with eight. Rob Gronk has six. Wow, he only has six. I am really shocked. So now I'm five for seven. That ain't bad though. I like no, my percentages. I like my percentages here. I'm on pace for 10 of 14. All right, you got to get this one because it's it's a kicker question. No, okay. Might be hard. Who made the most field goals this year? Dustin Hopkins or Daniel Carlson? Oh, is this a trick question? Oh, I feel like I'm getting a trick question. Daniel Carlson was so good this year, but I feel like all the field goals I can remember for him were just clutch field goals. It's not a quantity thing. Mm -hmm. Dustin Hopkins plays for the football team, technically the commanders, technically the Redskins and their poverty. I feel like they didn't get in yeah. the end zone a lot. I'm going to guess that this is a trick question. I'm going Dustin Hopkins. That is correct. He yes! has two more field goals than yes. Daniel Carson. 42 yes. to 40. It's crazy. That's a clutch. It's literally That's a clutch crazy one. though because you don't ever hear of Dustin Hopkins. No. You hear of Daniel Carlson all the time because he's clutch. What college did Matt Ryan go to? Boston College. That is correct. Holy shit. I have no idea what I, I was I literally I, I was about to start memory. naming the na teams and you just you just said it. I big cocked that multiple choice. Yeah. I have no idea what depths of my memory I pulled that out of, but it was the only team that came to mind. I don't know why. You got it. Let's go, baby. Okay. Alright boys, I hope you uh hope you didn't have a cool outfit ready for me, because I'm seven for nine already. We have question 10 coming up here. Name five teams that underwent a name change. Okay. Well, this is part of the test where you can go back in the test earlier and help you find the answer. New York Titans, because they went to the New York Jets. Washington Commanders now. I kind of got bailed out since yeah. they recently changed their name. Washington Commanders. At one point in time, the Baltimore Ravens were the Baltimore Colts. At one point in time, the Detroit Lions, get this, this sounds so fucking weird. The Portsmouth Spartans. That is random. I've seen that and I'm like, well, who even is that? Oh, but that's only four. Houston Oilers. Yep, yes! there it is. There's yes! five. That's a clutch one. Oh, wow. I as soon as if I didn't get if I didn't have New York Titans from earlier in this video, I would have lost there. Because Houston Oilers is the last mm -hmm. thing I have in my brain. I don't even know how many more there are. There could be ten more, there could be two more. Okay, this is question number 11. Mm, I just need two more. Two more. Need two more. Need to clutch up. So we're giving him a hard one here. Name eight Heisman Trophy winners currently. This is currently in the NFL. Damn. There's only going to be like the last 12 years of Heisman's that could be. So I really have to get eight out of the last basically 12. Um, Let's start with an old one. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram won it a long time ago. And one of his colleagues... I guess you could call it Derrick Henry, okay. also a Bama running back Heisman. So there's two. Uh, Mariota, old school one. Yep. He's literally through one completed pass this whole season. Barely still in the NFL. Barely still in the NFL. Still works though. Joe Brr, yeah. he's shiesty with it. Need four more. Sheesh. Baker, Poverty, Mayfield. Yep. Kyler, I don't know how to play in the playoffs. Murray. Yep. That's six. Wait a second. I'm missing a recent one. Bryce Young just got it. He's not in the league. Oh my God. Who won it last year? Oh my God. I'm poverty. I'm so pissed at myself. Let's you're, think of an at old. Six right I know. Now. Let's think of, an, three I'm more. Thinking of an old Heisman. Robert Griffin the third. Is he still in the league? Oh no. No, he is not. I don't think he is. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. He is not in the league. He did I just get it wrong? I'm Googling it. He is not. He like a he's like an announcer now. Shit, you're so right. He's out of the league. Ah! <laughs> Who's the 2020 Heisman? Devonta Smith. Oh, 
Oh! You're poor? Jalen Hurts would be so pissed at me right now. That's literally my father. Wow, I deserve to lose that one. Oh, I deserve to get that wrong. Question 11 wrong. Wait a second. What else? So what other Heismans are there that are in the league show? So we have Devonta Smith, Joe Burrow, okay. Kyler, Kyler Baker, Baker, Lamar. Did I not say Lamar? No, I you said Lamar. Did you? I don't know if you did. Mariota. Well, that only puts me at seven. Yeah, you I would have got it wrong anyway. I said RG3 before I said Lamar. Derek Henry. Said that. Jameis. Winston. Oh, eat a W. Cam Newton and Mark Ingram. Okay, Cam Newton, I can see myself getting wrong because I wouldn't. There were points in time where he wasn't in the league. Right. Jameis, I should have had that. Lamar, I should have had that. And I wouldn't have needed RG3. Here for 11. I need two more. Another hard one here. What team holds the record for most consecutive losses. <laughs> oh my God. Most consecutive losses. Okay, so there was a point in time where the Lions went 0-16, right? Yeah. But I don't know, you know, prior to that season, if we had won recently or like after that season when we won. Because mm -hmm. this has to be, there's been multiple 0-16 teams. Only like two or three though. So it has to be more than 16 losses. I'm actually going to say the Jets. I'm going to say New York Jets. It is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 1976 to 1977 with 26 losses. <laughs> he lost I would have never guessed. Oh my God. Imagine actually being a fan of a team for two and a half straight years and you never get a win. That's tough. Just every single game, you're putting your whole bankroll on them to win too. Money line. Mm. In your head, you're like, they have to win eventually. Wow. They really turned that shit So around. question 11 and 12, both wrong. Oh shit. Oh my God. No, Chase. Now I need to clutch up. Alrighty. Question 13 here most interceptions thrown in a rookie season oh my god this could be anybody <gasps> no it can't actually if you think about this question it can't be anybody the only way you could throw a lot of interceptions as a rookie is if you're really good yep i know it sounds stupid right but think of trevor lawrence the only way you continue to be the starter throwing that many interceptions is if you're really good mm -hmm. or at least the team thinks you're gonna be really good he is absolutely elite he he was, uh, is going to be, or is, Hall of Fame quarterback. Oh, so he's a super legit. Yes. Most interceptions thrown by a rookie is a Hall of Fame quarterback? Holy shit. Okay. Like you I'm said, gonna, he had to have been elite yeah, to be starting. Yeah, they had to be really good. Um, I'm going to rule out a couple players. I'm going to rule out Tom Brady. I think Brett Favre might be able to be in there. It could be Brett Favre. I'm going to rule out Ben Roethlisberger. I'm thinking of the players whose rookie season I actually remember. Like Tom Brady's rookie season didn't even play. So it's not Tom Brady. Right. I don't think it's a recent player, although I wouldn't be too shocked if Zach Wilson slash Trevor Lawrence are kind of up there on that list. Who? Peyton Manning or Eli Manning? It has to be one of the two. Or I guess it could be, I guess it could be Philip Rivers too. I just don't remember what his rookie season looked like. I remember the Manning's rookie seasons. Everybody, nobody would stop talking about them. Elite Hall of Fame quarterback, Peyton Manning. That is correct. I was, in, I, in my head, I forgot. Yes, in my head, I you forgot clutched your up. hint. And yeah. I'm thinking because of you Eli, said Zach Wilson, I'm like, he I'm ain't like, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. I forgot about yeah. the hint. But then once I remembered it, out of Peyton, Eli, Philip Rivers, it had to be Peyton. Yeah. Good clutch up. Let's go. So oh, what are you? Dude, that's so bad. 28 interceptions. Wait, what? 28. Oh, yeah. That's all. That's like a, an interception and a half every game. Imagine having him, your quarterback, rookie his rookie year, and he throws twenty eight picks. You're like, this dude's bonds. <laughs> They're like, this guy's ass. Like, gotta, this dude's bonds. We gotta trade him. Yeah. Let's trade him. So what? That was question thirteen, and you are what nine for thirteen? Nine for thirteen. You need one more. Uno mas por Out of the fifteen, who holds the record for most yards lost on a sack? <laughs> what? <laughs> This is a good question. Wait, what? Who holds the record for most yards lost, lost on, on a sack. sack? And it is minus 38 yards. So they took the snap and either scrambled backwards 38 yards or they fumbled it, tried to recover it, and lost 38. Those are the only two scenarios here. This one's tough. It could literally be any quarterback in the league. I actually recall like a crazy bad fumble sack from Tim Tebow. It's super random, which is why my hint, I was going to ask if they're still in the league. But that's the only even memory I have. So I'm going to say Tim Tebow. That is incorrect. <laughs> I was Dude, literally the Tebow one. He I went was, so far back though. I was literally just gonna say you said it too fa fast, but I was gonna say he is still in the league. Oh shit, he's still in the league. I was just gonna say it. Um, you said it too fast. Oh fuck, dude. I it was Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill had a negative thirty-eight yard sack. Sack. Fumble, recovered it back, something, yeah. Wow, it's really down to the wire here. Nine, Nine for, for 14. 14. Either I get this right, and I don't have to complete the challenge, or I get it wrong, and I do. Gonna, I think I'm going to go with a hard one, because this goes along yeah. with your football career. This is another uh, kicker question. Oh, you just gave it to me. If I get this wrong, I'm a, sh I'm a okay. sham. I'm a sham. Longest 
field goal attempt in history. So not make, but attempt. It is 76 yards. That's your hint. That's all you're going to get. Ah, you just gave me the fucking answer. You just gave me the answer. Oh, the shit. only player that would they would ever have let attempt a 76 yard in history. They wouldn't even let Justin Tucker do this. Sebastian Janikowski, Raiders. That is correct. Oh my God. You just skimmed it through there. You knew it, dude. There is no way they would let fucking anybody else kick that far of a field goal. Janikowski oh, wow. was a savage and he was lefty he was big he's huge dude he makes justin tucker and harrison butker look like actual pussies this had to have been way back in the day no 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 jankowski retired probably six years ago maybe oh, five, okay. six years ago okay so no, do probably, you... uh he probably attempted that 10 11 years ago okay probably in a in a really windy stadium it must have been before half i don't know why. right why would anyone ever attempt i don't know that? even why they tried that there they must have if i had to guess i would say they were in denver and it was windy i actually don't know when they attempted that but i also i'm really glad you gave me the yardage because <laughs> I'm serious, because if they if the longest was 67, 68, yeah. it could have been between like five people. It could have been Justin Tucker, it could right. have been Janikowski, it could have been Prater. Prater. Honestly, Prater is another guy I would have said, but 76, only one man. Woo! They're gonna let do that. You slipped through 10, Let's of, go! 10 of 15. I'm so happy. Get shit on, pussies. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey boys, two things I do need from you now on this video, uh, different than the last one. Let me know what category you want us to do next. So we did NFL trivia. It was pretty difficult. We yeah. did Obscure today, which is really fun. Let us know anything else you want to see if you liked head to head, if you want to see something else. Amazing. We'll have the same challenge on the next episode. So if I get dummy clap, I'll take my L and I'll wear whatever you guys want me to wear. So keep that logged in your memory banks. We're going to keep grinding these videos out and we love you. Thanks for watching as always. Big thanks to our host. Oh, yeah, baby. You're and, getting uh, clapped next time. I will see, boy. <laughs> I make these questions harder. All right. Hey, thanks for watching as always, boys. Peace.